Hey everybody, Freddy De La Vega here from David in LA. Welcome to our humble edit bay slash my bedroom. Um, today I wanted to go through some of the post-production process with you guys real quick. Um, we're pretty much ready for like a director session, if you will. David and I are going to go through the footage from episode one and start to put together a rough cut just to see where we're at, um, if we're missing anything, if we need anything else and how everything's looking. So we're gonna run through Red Cine X with you real quick and just basically how we're gonna set up our project file in Final Cut Pro um, to get ready for that. So yeah. So basically when we shoot on the Red Epic, just like any other Red setup, um, it out outputs to the SSD cards and then we take those and we ingest them into our drives and then our backup drive. Um, and they come in files like this right here so we just named them by roles and it in inside the file comes comes this information which is the RDC files and inside those are the R3D red raw uh, footage so you don't have to do anything with these here um, what we're gonna do we open them up in this program called Red Cine X which you can get from the red uh, website and this is kind of the basic setup of how it looks. Uh, I'm not going to run through it all right now. There's some really good tutorials on, you know, YouTube, on Red's website. A lot of people, a lot of good blog entries on like Red workflows. And depending on your setup, um, you know, you can customize that to fit accordingly. For us, I mean, we're not working with anything really big right here. Um, just my MacBook Pro. So I don't have that much processing power to be able to handle a lot of stuff. But right now we're just going to do an offline edit so we can get a nice little rough cut going on, see what we got going. So all we need is some QuickTime uh, ProRes proxies. And later on we'll online it all at full res with a friend who has a red rocket. So it'll go like a lot faster. So yeah, we're just going to, all we basically did was take the files. Here's your viewer. What's, re oh, what's really cool in um, Red Cine X is, you know, you can adjust all the metadata within here. Uh, so, you know, pop up the Kelvin, whatever. Um, mess with the ISO. I'm not going to get into that at all because that's another thing. So, uh, so yeah, we just exported out um, ProRes Proxy um, 1920 by 1080 uh, half res just so that we don't have a problem for this offline and it'd be all smooth and efficient and doesn't kill my computer. So so once we once we exported everything out, um, it took us <laughs> it took me about a couple days, three days about to just do like a day's worth of footage. Although we did shoot a lot, so that was that was kinda good. Um, but so I got all my proxy files, all, all my QuickTime proxies done and um, just gonna do a basic, you know, imported them all, named them, scenes, takes, everything like that, um, and did a basic string out, and then and and uh, synced up all the audio. So for three G take three. Great slate, by the way. Are you ready? Nice and blurry, so okay, I can see and it. And action's ready. Dude, this guy is Jason Bourne. I'm telling you. Yeah, so you get the idea. So basically the way I like to do it, um, just in scene order, you know, 3D take 1, 3D take 2, scene 3A take 1, scene 3F take 1, and then just uh, sync the audio from there. And then after that, um, personally I like to put it back in scene order, but um, last takes first. Some people, some editors like to do that because generally, you know, the last take should be you know the print take but so yeah I'll, I'll create a new uh, sequence and string them all out that way so like if you could see here scene one take six scene scene one take five take four take uh, something else <laughs> oh these are messed up I gotta fix them but anyway <laughs> you get the idea um, so yeah now and uh, now we're all set up and ready to go for when David comes in and we can kind of look at it together see what works what doesn't work um, and start putting together a rough cut and again this is I know this seems like uber simple and it totally is and uh, but this is just the way that we're doing it right now because we have so many things to do and this is not you know we're not fully staffed or equipped or anything like that uh, we're just trying to keep it simple for ourselves for right now so we don't get overwhelmed 
Um, there are some, you know, I was just reading this blog by this guy, Oliver Peters. Um, it's called digitalfilms.wordpress.com. And he's got like a great blog about the Red One workflow uh, from a commercial standpoint. So you might want to check that out. Here's the link right here. Um, yeah, so this is just how we're doing it for right now. And uh, when we get more into detail later on, we'll put up some more stuff, um, some more entries so you guys can see. Um, yeah, so that's about it for now. Uh, make sure you check out the website, davidinla.com, for some updates and more behind the scenes videos and blogs and all that great stuff. And yeah, so that's about it. So I will talk to you guys later.